first tonight, the mother of a young woman who was murdered 31 years ago says she is broken after being told her daughter's killer is to be released, even though he's never revealed where he hid her body. Helen McCourt was killed by Ian Sims in 1988. Ever since, her mother, Marie, Mary, sorry, has searched for her remains in the hope that one day she could give her a family burial. She's campaigned tirelessly for Helen's law to deny parole to killers who withhold information about their crimes. But now she's been told by the parole board that her daughter's killer is eligible for release. Our correspondent Elaine Wilcox joins in the studio now. I mean, Elaine, this couldn't come at a worse time, could it, really? Yes, that's right, Tony. Murray McCourt said she is utterly broken and horrified because she was so close to getting this law changed. Now, the parole board has said the former pub landlord, Ian Sims, met the test for release, which included a considerable change in his behaviour. But that's even though they concluded he would never reveal where Helen's body is and lacked empathy. But shaking with anger and in tears, Helen's mum told us at her home in Billinge she feels betrayed by all of the politicians over the years who'd promised her family they would end this torture. My daughter needs a burial. She needs a... Uh, her family needs to say goodbye to her. And that's not going to happen now. If they do release him, I will not give up. I may not get Helen's body, but I'll still fight for these other families that their loved ones are returned. And the added heartbreak, of course, is that Helen's law should have been in place now, and it was still part of the Queen's speech in October. Laws will be introduced to ensure that the parole system recognises the pain to victims and their families caused by offenders refusing to disclose information relating to their crimes. But despite that, then came the election and Parliament was dissolved and it never made it onto the statute books. Mary McCourt feels the decision by this seventh parole board. She feels it's been rushed through. She says it's not in Sim's interest now to reveal where Helen's body is because now he can walk out of prison still protesting his innocence and still keeping that hold over her family. Elaine, thanks very much indeed for that. Thank you.